welcome to the 13th tutorial in the series on drawing the full figure. In this lesson, we're going to be studying angels. The name angel reflects their role as messengers, angeli, who are sent up from God and are often referred to as bodiless or incorporeal powers. But since icons depict the physical form of a person, how can we even depict angels since they're bodiless? Because of our limited nature, God allows angels to appear to us in forms familiar to us. Scripture often describes angels as appearing in the likeness of man. So in the early church, angels were depicted as wingless young men, and we can see this in the Annunciation from the Catacomb of Priscilla, and the sacrifice of Isaac from the sarcophagus of Junius Bassus. It is from the 4th century that angels started being depicted with wings, based on the winged victories of the Hellenistic period. Like many other conventions in iconography, their forms were taken from the common visual code understood by everyone at the time. So having looked at what angels wear and the different types of bodiless powers that are found in icons, we'll start by drawing a wing to see the typical structure of it, and then we'll draw Archangel Michael in a dynamic stance as he's seen in icons in the miracle of Chronae. 